Uh, Stephen comes around the table. I'll be coming around your face. Wait, wait, what? When it comes. <laughs> uh, you talked about that one, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we just did the uh, Stone Cloud Brewing Double IPA Bad and Bougie, uh, Matweka and Amarillo and Citra Hops. Two thumbs up. It got a nine, nine and a half. It was bad ass. We just one of the best double IPAs I've had in a long time. I'd love to see a lactose version of this. It would be so much like mango milkshake. Get a little bit more sweetness to it. Oh, mm. all right. Now we're gonna move on. Stone espresso. Totalitarian? 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 Close. Fuck me. Why do you keep letting me my turn with all these big words? Totalitarian. Totalitarian. Espresso totalitarian. Imperial Russian Stout. And it is a 10.6 alcohol by volume. So we've got more information worth reading off this thing. That's like five paragraphs. That. Dude, I love the way this thing came out. Do you want to read all this? No, fuck that. Fuck that. Thank you. I agree. As he pours this, I'm going to show you this. This is a... It's tarnished amazing. It's a, it's a bottle opener we've had for quite a while, and it's just left out in the elements. Oh, shit. It looks terrible. Where's the flashlight? There we go. Oh shit, that's a little bright. That ain't helping much. Well, you can kind of see how tarnished it looks. It just looks perfect in person. It looks like they dug it out of a uh, like a World War II battle site. Yeah. Like it was sitting two inches under dirt for the last decade. Yeah, it just it looks perfect. Now, if you could remember when seeing it brand new when we started this. Shiny as shit. When that 50 cal came in, what, probably five years ago? Four, at least four. <laughs> four to five years ago. Yeah. And it was all shiny and bronze. Look at that. And it even has the green from the yeah, copper. Down inside the, the primer. Yeah. Even in there. Look at the nice, like, random dark spots on yeah. the fucking round. Damn. I'm about to do that, but I'm going to take some. Uh, uh, vinegar, spray it, just leave it outside. On that one? No, on the one I got at the house. Oh, is your still look all brand new because you I have like it inside? two at the house, I think, yeah. This one is set outside here in the elements the last four to five years whenever we yeah. got it. Who'd you get that from? Bought it. You just bought it that way? Couldn't remember if somebody made it because it's kind of like Mike Kim bought me this one for my birthday with my initials, even though it. It sucks. It, it we, sucks. The first time you used it, you broke a fucking bottle over. Uh, you broke the neck. Yeah, I said I was like, I almost got, I almost got it cracked. Broke the bottle. Fuck that. We ain't never used it. Good thing you had another, uh, another bottle. Bottle of it. of it. Yeah. yeah. Now we still got this good one here. It's good old Craftsman. This says, "Fuck you, Bummy." Yeah. All right. What do you smell? Because like half the people already clicked this or have already left. Oh, uh, just edit that shit out. Fuck them. No, fuck them. Ooh. Coffee. I'm getting a lot of roasty. Roasty. Mm-hmm. Like uh, espresso. Oh, I did say espresso. Never mm. mind. My bad. Nice dark chocolate and dark coffee. Not sweet whatsoever. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, that espresso is strong. 10.6%. Uh, a six pack of this was running 14 bucks. And that was Byron's Liquor Warehouse prices. So if you find it anywhere else, it's more than likely going to be more. Because they're the cheapest that I've seen ever. On the end of that first drink, I got that real sweet alcohol taste. This came out of a 38 degree fridge and it's been sitting out for almost an hour and a half. It's probably about 55 degrees. It's yeah. pretty warm. And it's, what is it? 1046. Now what's the temperature? This says 84. 73? Yeah, it's, mine's wrong. 84 is what it was earlier. My, my shit just ain't updated. I know why, because I have my shit on, I have my Bluetooth uh, turned off. 
That's why. Yeah. I turned my Bluetooth off because I'm doing. Oh, so your watch ain't even connected to your phone right now? No. Oh. I have it on a airplane. So motor. when it disconnected and this beer got set on this table, it was 84, it was 84 degrees. And the humidity, it's still got to be at least at like 80%. Mm, feels like 88. Humidity, 55. It's only at 55? No, when I un, when I unpair it. Oh, okay. It's a little higher now. Yeah. But yeah, that beer's got to be at least about 55 degrees. Man, if not colder, or uh, hotter. Hotter. 55 to 60. Because even when you go to drink it, it almost feels lukewarm. But it's still pretty good. I mean, I get that, and I bet you it's the warmth. I get that tinge, that sweetness alcohol. But that could be the warmth hitting me. A little bit. But the flavor itself, I like it. I'm mainly getting the chocolate, the dark cough, the yeah. dark uh, baker's chocolate. Not really. I definitely smelled a lot more exp uh, espresso than I do taste. Yeah. I taste more the chocolate <clears throat> than the espresso Ch coffee taste. It's it's pretty bitter. The dog's on that table after them June bugs. <laughs> Anybody want a free dog? I don't want no more. Oh, I wish. Oh, I so wish. So my wife has shot me every time. That thing will do something stupid. I grab my nap neck, pick it up. She's like, Jesse, calm down. Please. <laughs> my daughter gets crazy. If I pick it up by the nap and the next thing is I'm hurting it, it's a puppy. It's the way the mommy always carried him around by the nap in the neck. It'll, It'll get better. Him. Don't worry. Then I got to get him out of that puppy stage. Whew. Wearing me thin. It's really bitter for what I like at a stout, but that's because of the espresso. Yeah. And, and it's a Russian. The Russians are always bitter for me. <laughs> Russians are just bitter. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, look at the fucking shitty cars they drive. I always have to deal with snow and people who can't fucking drive. And I'm pull. sorry. I'd be bitter as fuck, too, if I had to live in that shit. God damn. What are there such hard asses? You gotta live in that bullshit. And then the world do little do having to hear a motherfucker talk like that, I just wanna strangle the shit out of him. God damn. And colluding with fucking Trump all the time and colluding with Trump. <laughs> motherfucker got jokes. Cling. Because I, I swear. If you think he was colluding with Trump, then you're probably not even watching this video still. <laughs> Honestly, I like We watched it about 10 minutes ago. I had one fresh out of the fridge. I liked it a lot more than... It's a little too strong on that bitterness for me. Even on the fresh out of the fridge? Then it wasn't as bitter. It was sweeter. So drink it somewhere between the 60 and 40 degree temps. Or fresh out the fridge. Spin your ass around, motherfucker. Alright. And this one is on an Imperial Russian step. With espresso. I don't know if I've had a different Russian step. Um, espresso, that explains this. Then. I'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead, Steve. All right. For my personal taste, I'm not a huge fan, but for what they're going for, I'm still going to say eight. That's what I gave it. Eight. It's just not my... Yeah. That's where I stuck. I almost wanted to go seven. I was like, no. It, what they say on the can is what I'm tasting, whether it's my personal preference or not, I want to eight. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm not finishing this. I'm sure Jesse's not either. At nine point... Whatever percent. No. Ten point Ten point three. No, I won't say it's ten point six. Front of it. Front, front, front. 10.6, it's almost yeah. 11%. That's going to go feed the grass. <laughs> or At least I got one, two, three. Yeah. Three more to go through? Are we Maybe. doing that one? We've already reviewed it. I know. That's what I'm saying. No. 
You can tell. So I only got like two more. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. We'll be seeing you. All right.